Hi guys, Keegan here with Champion Helmets, and today we'll be taking a look at the Shark Race R Pro GP and putting it to the test on the road. The Shark Race R Pro GP is the top of the line racing helmet from Shark. There's a few different versions of the Shark Race R Pro, but this version, the Race R Pro GP, is the one you'll see riders wearing on the MotoGP circuit. At a recommended retail price of 900 euros, or around 975 US dollars, let's see if this helmet is a top performer. If you want to see our dedicated review of the Shark Race R Pro GP, or if you want to see any of our other road tests, you can find those on our YouTube channel under the Review and Road Test Playlists. Before jumping on the bike, I'll quickly tell you a little bit more about this helmet. As I mentioned, this helmet is an exact copy of the one you'll see guys like Lorenzo wearing in MotoGP. The helmet does come in two shell sizes, and that shell is made from carbon fiber and aramid, providing a strong but light shell. And the helmet is very light, weighing only around 1300 grams. The visor does offer a wide range of view, though it is not pinlock prepared, which is a bit unfortunate. The helmet does have a large racing spoiler for peak performance on the track, and the liner is of course removable, washable, and antibacterial. On the bike, you'll see the monitors we are using to collect our data. On the left, there's a white monitor, tracking the internal temperature of the helmet, with that sensor located inside the helmet at the top of our rider's head. In the middle on the top, we have a decibel meter, with that sensor located between our rider's head and the lining, and on the right you can see the wind speed, and in the middle on the dashboard you can see the speed of travel in kilometers per hour, as well as the outside temperature. Our rider had a generally positive experience with the RaceR Pro GP. He found the helmet to be comfortable and felt that it ventilated well. He also, unsurprisingly, found it to be very aerodynamically stable, and he expects it to remain stable at the high speeds seen on the track. Data for the Race R Pro GP was collected while traveling at an average speed of 130 km per hour down long stretches of highway. The wind speed was around 115 km per hour, and the outside temperature was around 21 degrees Celsius. During the test, the internal temperature of the Race R Pro is around 22 degrees Celsius, about 1 degree hotter than the temperature outside, though it is important to note that the ventilation on this helmet is designed for a tucked racing position and will perform at its best out on the track. As for noise isolation, the helmet registered 103 decibels of noise, which is rather quiet for a racing helmet, as race helmets are not designed with noise isolation in mind. Knowing this, our rider did wear earplugs during his ride, and had no issues with the noise. Now that we have the data, let's see how we rate this helmet. The helmet receives 4 stars for its material, and 5 stars for its exceptionally light weight. Its visor earns 3.5 stars, while its aerodynamics earn it 5 stars. Lastly, it earns 4 stars for both ventilation and comfort, having provided our rider a comfortable and cool experience. At its recommended retail price of 900 euros, each star earned across the six categories costs around 35 euros. So it's not the cheapest racing helmet you can find, but it is also certainly not the most expensive. Knowing this, we give the Race R Pro GP a total rating of four stars out of five. If you want to purchase the Shark Race R Pro GP, you can find it on our website at championhamas.com, where you can view the product bundles we have available and where you get the lowest price guaranteed. The Shark Race R Pro GP is an all-around solid performer. Its aerodynamic design and its strong ventilation are sure to help you fly around the track. Let us know what you think about the Shark Race R Pro GP down in the comments, and if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel for more content. Once again, my name's Keegan with Champion Helmets, and I hope to see you again soon.